What's going on YouTube, GS now right here. So in today's video, we're talking about an update for the Falsa Escaped for iOS 14. Yes, we got some news about that, but before we get into that, this video is brought to you by Anyfix, a system repair software that allows you to fix multiple iOS issues, upgrade, downgrade, and exit recovery mode and enter recovery mode. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably know, a couple of days ago, I made a video in which this developer, BassVT, posted, quote, yes, I'm talking about Falsa Escaped 14, and if I want it, I can work on a jailbreak. A 12 mini just helps very much for faster and stable testing. If all goes well, we're not talking about weeks to wait anymore. So they were talking in here about a project they've been working on for literally years and that is Faza Escaped. And apparently they want to update it to work with iOS 14. Right now at the moment the iOS 14.3 is currently available, it was released on 14th of December, but also 14.2 is still signed. And I highly recommend it to go back to 14.2 if you are on 14.2. 3, because 14.2 is much better. But anyways, he posted an update about that. We were unsure in the previous video whether they do have any exploits private or not. And now we finally got the answer. They said, quote, right now I have some private stuff which gives half functionality to Faza escaped. When the right exploit drops for full functionality, I'll instantly release it. Since exploit season started, it shouldn't take too long. So it does look like the developer does have a private exploit or a couple of private exploits though they're not exactly very powerful. And what Falza Escaped is, is basically the Falza file manager from a jailbroken iPhone, but it doesn't require a jailbreak. Normally Falza can be acquired using a jailbreak like Odyssey or Uncover or any other jailbreak. You can usually download Falza from Syria or Cilio and stuff like that, but in this case with the Falza Escaped, you don't need Syria or Cilio or any other thing like that. You just have Falza Escape and it's all self-contained. That's important because there is currently no jailbreak for iOS 14 other than the check rain. But of course the check rain doesn't support the newer devices like the iPhone 12, iPhone 11, iPhone XS Max and so on. The Odyssey, which is currently the latest jailbreak available, only supports iOS 13.7 and lower. But by the looks of it, BassVT wants to release the Falsa Escape for iOS 14 and it will be compatible with iOS 14.2, 14.1, 14.0 and stuff like that. So that's actually quite good. We will get this before we get a jailbreak. So even if a jailbreak isn't available, you would still be able to do some modifications to your device as if you are jailbroken. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, the iOS 14.3 and iPadOS 14.3 update patches a lot of stuff, which means that the iOS 14.2 and lower do have a lot of vulnerabilities that we can use for jailbreak purposes. And of course, nobody stops anybody from using BassVT's private exploit once this gets released, even for a jailbreak. While this is very likely not TFP0, it can still be chained with other exploits to achieve a jailbreak. It depends on what it actually is. But anyways, BassVT also recommends staying on a lower version because even if iOS 14.2 will be supported in the future for the files that escaped for iOS 14, they said that 14.1, 14.0.1 1, and 14.0 will get it first. So if you're running iOS 14.0, 14.0.1 or 14.1, it's definitely advised to stay there. Now we don't know when exactly to expect this, they are talking about the Fuzz Escape 14. It looks like they are trying to get a new device, a 12 mini, which would help with the development. So if you want to donate to this person, definitely do so, but just make sure that you're donating to the right person. But the thing is, we don't need a jailbreak for this. And also an important thing is that we might also get a jailbreak in the near future because it appears that the iOS 14.3 patches ABC Research's vulnerability. I talked about this in my previous video. This is a very powerful vulnerability. They demonstrated it here in this video and they show exactly the process. They show the device running iOS 14 and they run their exploit application, which is that one in there. And once they do that, they are able to basically connect to SSH and stuff like that, which is very, very powerful and it can definitely be usable for a jailbreak. So this is actually pretty good. If this gets released, because there's no point in not releasing it since it's been patched, if this gets released, this is going to be pretty good. And if you remember, I talked with ABC Research and they told me that they might release their vulnerability once it gets patched. So that would be pretty interesting. But yeah, ABC Research's vulnerability combined with whatever private stuff BassVT has here might actually 
actually be pretty useful for a jailbreak and not only for faza escape so yeah definitely stay on ios 14.2 or lower but if you can avoid 14.2 please do so however if you are on 14.3 definitely go to 14.2 right now we have absolutely no idea how much time the ios 14.2 will stay signed but it may not be too long before apple stops signing it and at that point it will be impossible to downgrade so yep that's basically it thank you for watching we'll keep you updated with anything going on with the files escaped until the next time merry christmas and peace out